What is up guys, Chris here, Bear Market Mining. Welcome back to the channel. So I am currently mining what by my numbers is the most profitable coin that it seems no one else is talking about. Now, before we get into what it is and look at how much it's making compared to everything else, I want you to pause this video and write down in the comments what you think it is before moving on. And while you're there, hit that like button for me and make sure you subscribe if you haven't. A few moments later. Great. Now that we've done that, let's take a look at exactly what it is. So if you guessed Warthog, you were correct. Now you've seen me talk about Warthog before. If you've been uh, watching some of my older videos from a few months back and we are still mining it because GPU and CPU profits are horrible at the moment, but Warthog is still holding it down strong. So realistically, all you need to know on a very basic level to get started is, uh, is what it says in this first disclaimer here. It says Warthog's decentralized network empowers individuals with fair, balanced and synergized CPU and GPU work. So this is basically combining the use of your CPUs and GPUs at the same time. Now down a little bit further here, we can see it's called proof of balanced work. That favors decentralization, nodes which can run and save the chain directly in your browser and soon to be peer-to-peer -peer communication. So if you want to read up a little more on what Warthog is exactly, I will leave the link and all links in this video down in the description so you can read up before making your decision. So first up, we'll have a look at a bunch of useful tools that you can use if you're looking to figure out how much you can actually make, your hash rates, all that good stuff. And I will leave a link in description for how to set up your wallets and build your rigs up above me somewhere here. So the first tool we will use is this Warthog Community Hash Rate Database. So basically on here, if you've got GPUs and CPUs lying around not doing anything, you can jump on this database right here and get an idea of exactly what sort of hash rate you need. And then you can punch those numbers into the calculator. So for example, if we look here, how do we highlight this right there? So, you know, you've got a 7950X and you've got a 4090. You can see your Gen use hash rate of 1350 is gonna be your mega hash and that's gonna be what you're gonna punch into the calculator that we'll have a look at in a second. They also here have um, overclock settings for your motherboard, you know, curve optimizers, things like that. If you're looking to, uh, to undervolt a little bit, which I would recommend you always do, when tweaking your CPUs when it comes to crypto mining. So this is basically just a really good database of uh, inputs that people have had and you know successful high hash rates, efficient hash rates on a number of different CPUs and GPUs. So once you've had a look at that page, uh, the community spreadsheet, and you wanna get a rough idea of hash rate, uh, and uh, profitability, you can jump over here on hashrate.no and go under Warthog and Calculator. They've got a calculator here you can use. And there's also another one, wartscan.io. Like I said, I'll link all of this stuff so you can see. You can enter in your hash rate here and it will spit out a number. For example, one giga hash, $2.06 USD. Now this is revenue. So let's jump on over and have a look at my rig and then we'll see what we've made in the last 24 hours and compare a few different numbers. Okay, so in my Hive OS here, you can see that I have got my 7950X right down here at the bottom and we've paired that with a 4070. Now, this 7950X is definitely capable of a lot more hash rate. Uh, with my 3090, I get just under a giga hash. And if we jump back over onto this spreadsheet here, we can see with the 75 950X and the 4090, you can get up to 1350 and possibly even more. So the 7950, especially undervolted, is a really good CPU. Basically how it's gonna work is the better the CPU, the better the hash rate. Obviously uh, graphics cards are gonna play an importance as well, but you can combine say two 3070s or two 3090s and put it on the same uh, CPU, but you will be slightly less efficient and some motherboards don't allow you to pull too many watts from the dual uh, PCIe lane. So that's something to consider when you're doing it as well. So I've had this one on a separate mining pool for the last few days, just so we can have a look at the 24 hour total, which spits out to a nice $2.16. Now this is in Australian dollars, as we can see up here somewhere. And I'll also put a screenshot of my electricity up because we'll calculate that now. 
but this rig does fluctuate a little bit from the high 290s 295 all the way up to 305 so we'll sit it right in the middle we'll go 300 watts and we'll calculate that now for you over a 24 hour period so if we go 300 times 24 which equals we divide that by one thousand dollars and with my solar included my electricity rate in aud is 19 cents so we times that by 0 0.19 and that brings us to a dollar and 36 37 cents so if we take that two dollars and 11 cents we minus those two it brings us out with a profit of 75 cents a day this is for the cpu and gpu combined and the wattage of the motherboard as well which i notice in a lot of calculators especially the hash rate no one this is not considered right so a cpu might be using 120 watts by itself but then the motherboard and fan will be pulling 40 watts but on hash rate no it'll just have that power draw at 120 watts so not an accurate way to calculate it so we see 74 cents and we say all right not a lot to write home about but it does do a lot better than a lot of these other algorithms with these specific pieces of hardware so let's have a look at exactly what we're making at the moment on the other cpu and gpu algorithms so first up let's look at this 4070 now i have adjusted all of these settings in the custom hash rate calculator before for the specific algorithm so these are my exact numbers at an exact power rate that i'm using we can see that the 4070 is generating about five cents usd a day now that conversion rate is about 1.5 times so what have we got about seven and a half cents there and if we flick on over here into the cpu my 7950x we're making about four cents usd per day so that's about another six cents so let's do the numbers on that we have 0 0.742 we divide that by 0 0.135 for 13 and a half cents the warthog currently is 5.5 times more profitable than any of these other coins now it depends what you're mining for some people are mining for profit per day some people are mining you know some of these different coins here like zealous to try and hopefully make a big bag in the future and that's the next thing i want to talk about quickly with warthog let's have a look at the price and the potential for future price appreciation so warthog right now is looking like about 16 and a half cents aud but it does have a long way to go uh, to get back up to previous highs so previous high was a dollar 92 aussie so that's about what a dollar 25 or so usd There's definitely some room for some big price appreciation and this is what it's all about right the 70 percent ain't going to change the 70 cents sorry isn't going to change anyone's life by any stretch per day it is nice to be making some little gains but i'm more interested in what it could potentially make us so we'll jump on over to the percentage calculator so we can see we've got our 16 cents here 16 and a half cents the final value at dollar 92 which is a 1065 percent increase to get back to all-time highs so a long way to go and what does this this mean in daily profitability this could turn our daily profitability into eight dollars and 64 cents now this is just the uh profit after electricity but if you were to uh put, punch in just your revenue per day which was two dollars and 11 cents from memory so if we go 2.11 what was our percentage increase right there puts up to 25 bucks a day and you'd only be paying a dollar a day or so in electricity so huge huge room for growth this could just be one of those coins that you mine for a few weeks a month on a different couple of rigs and end up walking away with a thousand bucks if it booms again even if it did half of that or a quarter of that you're still making a decent amount of money compared to what you would be if you put it on these other coins so that's what we're looking at guys about 70 cents profit per day compared to about 13 cents on some of these other coins so i guess it just depends what coin do you believe in me personally i've been mining warthog for a while i have as little faith in one coin as i do in the other coin when it comes to alt so definitely throw on this rig and keeping it on warthog for as long as possible and hoping to make some gains in the future so that will wrap it up guys let me know if you've been mining warthog or if you're going to jump on over and just take that 70 cents per day hold it hope it goes into something else or convert it to btc which i know a lot of people are doing or whatever it is you want I'll see you in the next one, guys. Peace.